how's it going everybody welcome back to manor lords welcome back to our quaint little village things are going pretty well at the moment we are sitting on 10 months worth of supplies we have three animals two oxes one horse we've got no mules no sheep no lambs but that's all right we have a hundred percent approval rating and that's really all that i care about right now although i will say my throat is absolutely killing me. I think I mentioned it at the end of the last episode. So I decided in all my wisdom to rather than go and rest, I decided to go and get some whiskey, put some hot water in it and put a lot of honey in it. And we're going to see how that goes. We're going to see if that was a good idea or if things are going to get a little bit silly. I doubt it. I've developed a really good tolerance to whiskey because once upon a time, about a year ago, I was challenged in the sense that someone said, I bet you can't take a shot of whiskey. And I said, all right, bet. And I did. So I won, but I have since developed a bit of a tolerance. Anyway, moving, <laughs> moving swiftly, swiftly on. What I think I want to do today is focus a little bit on just improving the number of workers that we have everywhere. We have a lot of buildings like the bloomery like the well the mining pits like the farmhouse with a lot of space left to fill and so i think that's what i'd like to do i'd like to see about getting more people in here and i want to focus on putting those people into essentially into uh to workplaces that are going to result in us getting a whole bunch more food that's kind of my my priority so that's what we're going to try and do, basically. We're going to see if I can get a really nice little plot right here for five more people. That seems pretty good to me. So we'll get that going. And I think I'm also going to look at maybe expanding into this space here as well. So I'm going to move the bloomery. I can't move the bloomery. Interesting. Do I want to demolish it? I mean, we probably don't urgently need it. I think we do. We have 110 iron slabs. So I think I can get away with demolishing the bloomery for the time being and i think we'll just go ahead very simply and replace it with some burgage plots so we're gonna go up to i'm gonna go up to about here i think we're gonna go for a bit of a larger plot and this is gonna be a pretty big expansion right off the bat but i think it's gonna be worth it we'll go a little bit shorter on this tiny tiny little bit shorter again to about right there so that's gonna be six more plots we can't build it i'm assuming because of the supplies that are in the way so we'll speed things up a little bit and see if we can't get those out of there. And then with those gone, we can go ahead and get those built. So that'll be a fantastic, fantastic little expansion for everything. I think the bloomery, honestly, I'm tempted to put it up here. It's definitely a good spot for it. So we'll go into industry and we'll take a look. We have this guy right here. It would fit. I could do a market in here, though, and I think that'd be interesting. In saying that, this market here still hasn't filled in. So maybe we don't need to do that. This one down here has still got seven free locations as well so i don't know that i need to fill this with a market it is very tempting though what if i was to go and say give me a what if we did like a uniquely shaped or sized house right here we could do this and then swing it around and that's going to give me two plots right there we could do a little something like this as well i don't really want to do that though i'd like something that's a little I don't know, a little bit more regularly sized is kind of what I'm looking for. So if I was to do this, it's going to give me a bit of a weird looking house, but it's expandable. I'll tell you what, we're just going to leave that be, is what we're going to do. And the bloomery, I'm tempted to just put it up here by the iron mine. We are going to need it. That's the thing. We absolutely are going to need it. So let's just, for the time being, it just needs some timber. We'll put it here in this uh, in this clearing. So right about there for the bloomery. It's not going to be a priority. The houses are going to be the priority. And I guess what we'll do is go across each of these and just get them to be a nice high priority. We're going to be boosting the population by 11 families. We can see up here at the top, we've got a plus 11. So we're going to be going up to 46 families, which is good. We can go ahead and max out the farmhouse. We can go ahead and get some people working at the livestock trading post. We can go ahead and get some people working at the sheep farm. And I think we are, what, 48 regional wealth right now? If we go in here, we're almost at a point. In fact, I think we can already, hopefully, actually import some sheep. 
we've got enough for for one and i'm aiming for four although honestly i'm gonna aim for 10 is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna aim for 10 sheep and see how that works out now let me have a look at this main street right here this building was complaining once upon a time about i don't know not being desirable or bringing my approval rating down it seems to be okay now which is great so i think i'm just gonna sort of leave it be and i might start upgrading some of these guys as well maybe these ones instead because these guys do have the vegetable gardens at the back and speaking of vegetables we still don't have that many but we do have a lot of bread so that's gonna keep me quite happy anyway with these all building up and it being april let's get someone working at the livestock trading post and let's get someone working at the sheep farm so that hopefully i mean we don't have any sheep right now but hopefully sooner than later we can go ahead and bring some sheep in here we can get them into the pasture and then what we can do is start selling the yarn that comes from those sheep and then eventually we can start to create some dyes we can use that yarn we can use those dyes at the tailor's shop to make capes and that'll be a second supply of clothing for everybody and i guess we should i guess we should start looking into the clay production right we have this mining pit right here we have the ability to go and get a clay furnace right next to it and that does seem like it would make sense so i think i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put a clay furnace right there we're gonna start making those roof tiles we can upgrade the church that's gonna keep people happy as well and I think that's the angle. I think we're just going to try and do a lot of things. I don't know if we're going to get those level three plots today, but I'm going to work for it because I do think it's going to be really important to, to get those upgrades in here. I think it's going to be good to, uh, to get everybody working, get the food in here, get the plots upgraded, keep my people happy and just see how it goes. We also have 720 influence right now can be gained from raising settlement level and acting a policy conquering bandit camps and upgrading your churches and manors interesting so if i have 720 influence i need a thousand to claim a territory and i'm gonna be honest with you i do want this territory because we do have a rich berry deposit right here and then this one over here has a rich clay deposit which i'm less interested in but i just don't want to be cornered I want I want this territory so we're gonna try we're gonna somehow get our influence up there a little bit I'm sure not a hundred percent sure how I'm gonna pull that off but I'll figure it out we're gonna we're gonna improvise basically is, is what I'm gonna have to do here we're gonna have to improvise and and hope for the best and that's fine by me so I guess let's see what else we can prioritize so the corpse pit is going I'm not really too worried about filling the workers there the bloomery i'm in no rush to get people working in either i guess this mining pit we could get people working in since we can start to collect the clay and then once we have some collected it can go into the furnace and i suppose what we'll do is just prioritize construction of the burgage plots we'll have those be the top priority and then we can go around and start working in some other things as well so that's a top priority what am i what am i building elsewhere i guess this should be the next one so we don't want highest we want very high and then this guy over here can be high so that's kind of the order that we're going to work in we're going to get the burgage plots done then the clay furnace and then the bloomery and in theory that'll be great we've got three unassigned workers we have room currently for 42 families with four more houses on the way which is perfectly fine by me we've got these guys out here doing their thing this field is in fallow this year which is completely fine this one is almost ready to harvest which is great news and we have some sheep does that mean that we do we do have wool okay so if we have wool that should mean that the do i not have a weaver here we are if i get the weaver working we can go ahead and start to make some yarn that's going to keep people really happy it's going to be another type of material i don't know if it counts as another type of clothing though so clothing supply linen leather yarn it doesn't count ah so we do need shoes clothes or cloaks that's 
A little unfortunate. How were shoes made again? Wait, shoes were a different building, weren't they? So Burgage Plot level two. What do we need for shoes? Shoes are made with... What are they made with? It doesn't tell me. Okay, you know what? We'll do a cobbler's shop. That's fine. We'll, we'll do the cobbler and we'll see. It's going to be leather and something, right? <laughs> it's it's going to be leather and something, so... We'll give it a shot and see if we can uh, if we can do something kind of interesting there with the uh, the cobbler's shop. As for everything else, it is still going pretty slowly, which is all right. Cobbler's shop nearly done though. Can I make that a higher priority? It is a high priority. Fantastic. And now that it's done, what do you use? So, wait, am I at the wrong? No, cobbler's shop general refueled. It doesn't seem to want to tell me what it uses so cobbler shop general yeah it doesn't seem to want to doesn't seem to want to tell me what it needs for for shoes okay well i guess i guess we're just gonna have to hope for the best that might be a bug i might just be yeah i don't know <laughs> i actually actually don't know so just to double check the joiner production focus is here and then it tells me that it's made with planks. The cobbler, if we look here, there's no production focus. Oh, it's bringing in leather. Okay. So is it going to use leather? Is it just leather to make shoes? It's got to be leather and something else, right? No, we did just finish a clothing stall. Clothing stall, generic storage, people, cobbler. Oh. Okay. Okay. We might have done it. We might have managed to get a second. We might have got shoes. Okay. We're going to need a tavern. That's going to be a whole thing. We need to supply with ale as well. That's going to need more farms. And I'm completely okay with that. But I I think we might have managed shoes. I honestly don't know. I don't know. It's, maybe it needs metal. I. It doesn't matter. It's... It just doesn't matter right now. <laughs> oh, no, we do have shoes. Yeah, we absolutely did. Okay. We 100% are starting. There we go. Clothing stall supply done. So we need the church. We need the tavern. What do we need for a tavern? What exactly? Is it residential? Yeah. So it fulfills one level of entertainment uh, requirement for the Burgage plots. Like many of your citizens, it needs ale to function. Hold on. Like many of your citizens, it needs ale to fun. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, buddy. That's that's fair enough. Um, do we want to get another well? We have one in here, and it looks like it's starting to drain the groundwater, actually. So you know what? Let's do a well right here. I don't know if that's a good, a good thing or a bad thing, the way that is. Uh, let's do a well over here as well. So we'll get a couple of those. I don't know if it does drain the groundwater or not, but I think more wells, that can only be a good thing, right? That can only, can only be a good thing, I would imagine. Now, let me see. Firewood cart, a permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay. The transport fee must be placed in the marketplace. Okay, not too worried about that. What I am looking for is industry, farming. <laughs> what am I looking for here? So the tavern, it needs ale to function. How do I get ale is my question. Logistics, that's a granary. Gathering is is not going to be either a charcoal kiln. Okay. Am I losing it or am I, am I, am I just not really sure where to get ale? Malt house. Workers use barley to produce malt. Needs to be refueled once per month. Okay. So that... I would assume is a step in the right direction. And then from there, I've got no idea. <laughs> oh, it's a brewery extension on a burgage plot. Converts all inhabitants to artisans, locking them from being assigned to other jobs. That is basically what we're looking for. So we're gonna need malt to to do that. But we'll get we'll get the brewery thing going. And then we're gonna need was it the malt house, which will convert barley into malt? This thing's relatively inexpensive as well. So let's build the malt house up here. Since it is just kind of 
a good spot for it. And then we need barley. Can I, can I do barley right now? I can, it's not, the, the fertility for barley is not good around here though, which is definitely a bit of a problem. So emmer, flax, barley, yeah, barley fertility is really good in my neighboring region, which is frustrating. Uh, let's see, barley fertility is, yeah, it's just terrible in my region. I could, I guess, well, there's a little bit there. There's a tiny little bit there. We could import it. I prefer to not have to, but I think I'm gonna have to. Although, you know what? Let's give this a shot. Let's do a tiny, tiny little field right here. Just for, just for the barley. We'll do something like this, I guess. And, uh, well, no, I don't wanna get rid of those trees, actually, now that I think about it. So we'll do legitimately a tiny, tiny little, little field right here. I think that'll be solid. That's that's about all we can do. This guy's gonna be set up for barley. We'll do crop rotation. We'll do two years of barley, one year of fallow. Kinda want this to be a high priority. And it is a bit of a distance from the farmhouse, but that should be okay. I'm not really super worried about that. The malt house just being across from it might be good as well. And we have seven people right now not working. So let's deal with the fact that food supply is down to eight months. Let's get ourselves another farm worker. Let's get ourselves another windmill worker. And let's get ourselves... Do we have anyone working up here at the sheep farm? We do. We did get the wool from it as well. So I'll tell you what. We've got the two people in the windmill. The communal oven's down here. Let's get a second person working at the communal oven. Do we have any ingredients laying around? We do have some flour. We do have some grain. We... I think we're gonna wanna just max out the farmhouse. I think that'll be a really good idea. And then of course the clay furnace as well. We'll get someone working in there so that we can go ahead and start to get the church upgraded. And once the church is upgraded, we apparently need more food types and then we need that tavern. Now the tavern is essentially gonna be something that's relatively easy to make. I'd like a good place for it. I could put it right next to the church. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna put it right next to the church, but I could. Uh, right here seems like a good place for a tavern right behind all the houses. Or right down towards the front of the... Um... Oh, you know, I like the idea of putting it in here, actually. Would it fit, though? This is like the perfect corner for it. I might have to get rid of these two burgage plots and start to turn this into like a little town square, like put a tavern right in there. Or we just look elsewhere and start maybe building. We could build like down here. It doesn't really, I'm, I'm kind of going for aesthetics, I think a little bit too early. I don't know enough about Manor Lords to pull that off. So maybe we just play it safe and well, we could move things. Well, we can't move the granary. We can't, the Dyer's Workshop, we could probably get rid of. The small stables, we can move that. The communal oven, I can't move that. This would be a good spot too. This really would be a good spot, but I think, I think just to play it safe, we're going to build a tavern down here. Now, this thing is not going to be up and running anytime soon. And I think what I'm also going to do is get another couple of burgage plots just across from it. Again, just to sort of play it uh, a little bit safe. We'll also get these expansions for the, uh, the burgage plots here. I can't remember what those are for, but we'll figure it out and that'll be all right. We've also just done the, what is it? The brewery. So let's see. Eventually, eventually that brewery will get up and going, which is gonna be fantastic. You know, I'm also pretty sure, have we exhausted this mine? No, they are still very much digging. I think we've exhausted this one up here. We've exhausted one of them. I don't know which one. Enough wealth, developments, branch, Missing, that's okay. People advanced, it doesn't really tell me anything. Yeah, I I think we might have exhausted both of the, the mines, which is definitely gonna be a bit of a worry. Do we happen to have, we do have roof tiles. How many do I need to upgrade the church? I have enough. Okay, let's, let's upgrade it. Let's make that a nice, nice high priority. It's, uh, is gonna definitely make people happy, which is good. They're gonna have their church level two, which is 
absolutely fantastic. So really the tavern is the other thing that, oh God, it definitely said something about me that we're simultaneously building a church in a tavern. That's my inner Irish is showing, I think. And I'm allowed to say that I've lived here for 30 years, okay? I'm allowed to say that I was born and raised. <laughs> All right, I don't want to hear it. I'm allowed to say it. It's just, <laughs> it's look, there's a number of times I've been to weddings, to funerals, to confirmations, uh, to, uh, to anything involving a church or a religious ceremony where before, after, or both, you end up in a bar. All right. It's a great time. Not remotely religious myself, but you know, there's, there's, there's occasions where you, you, you have to go anyway. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's enough of that. Let's get them to finish working on the tavern since it is the, uh, it is the one that's closest to being done. So we'll get them to finish that thing. Then I kind of want them to go work in the burgage plots. To be totally honest, the church, we've already got the effects of it being leveled up. We've already got the church level two, so we might as well get them doing everything else. It also looks like we have gone ahead and planted a whole bunch of barley, which is great. It seems like it takes a very, very long time to grow, but at least we have it. We also have a bunch of sheep as well. Is it going to die in the snow? That's that's kind of the, the question I have. If it's... I don't want to, I don't want to harvest it. I just want to make sure it doesn't die in the snow, which it doesn't look like it's gonna. I don't know if this game does that the way Banished does. So we'll just hope for the best. We'll just assume that it'll be, it'll be totally fine. Now, where is my, oh, my one unassigned worker is, wait, resource stolen by nearby bandits. Hello? So we have bandits there. Oh, that's, that's. What do you mean nearby? What is <laughs> what is this nearby bandits nonsense? There's like one group of them. I don't know if they're, I mean, they're 100% effective. My guys wouldn't be if I sent them over there. So I think we'll just, we'll just play it safe. And I guess I'm also realizing that technically I'm not gonna have bandits from the north because I have, you know, I have, uh, I have, I think that's the king up there or the Lord. I, I don't know if I have to challenge this guy or what I need to do needs I can request funds I can declare war you know I don't I don't think I want to do that you know I <laughs> I don't think I want to do that now these guys are the outlaws so hmm I'm going to go with dear outlaws Another dog has crawled here. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> so we'll go with the we'll go with the minus 10 into the pleasure to meet you. We'll send it. And they are I'm sure are gonna be thrilled. Uh we could declare a surprise war on them again. Not necessarily gonna do that. We're gonna hold off because I do want to get more territory and I do want to get more people. And I yeah, I'd like us to be okay before I start declaring surprise wars on people. That's that's definitely a must have. That's definitely the the top priority right now. So, you know, we'll play it safe. Is is basically what I'm doing. We're we're playing it very very safe. Now, like I said, where is my one unassigned worker? <laughs> because for the life of me, I don't know. I'm wondering though, let's let's unassign the people from these mines because I do think the mines have been completely stripped bare. And I guess we could bulldoze these. I think we'll keep them for now, but I think I, I, I get the feeling we're going to end up bulldozing those. The clay furnace can stay there. The farmhouse is fine. The sheep farm. I'm actually going to get one more worker in there. We've also finished the tavern, which is great. So does that provide? I'm going to I have my doubts that it provides the bonus, right? Yeah, tavern supply. We need the steady supply of ale. I can't, I can't just have a tavern and assume that everything's going to be all right. So we do, we do need the ale and that's going to be tricky because again, we only have this tiny field. Let's have a look at the trading post. So if we go to trade and we go to crops, barley is imported for 12. Oh, I don't like that. 
I don't like that at all. That is that is a little bit much. Uh, bread is exported for four. Hunting is honey goes out for hmm. Honey goes out for three. Do we have? Did I? I did get the. I did get the the beekeeping. I did did, did get the apiaries. Did we build them? Did I ever build the apiaries? I could swear I did. Yeah, we have one right here. I never put anyone in them. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get some people working in that apiary. I don't remember where I put the other one though. They're very, very small buildings. I'm almost certain that I did build two though. So there's a tavern there. There's a couple of wells there. There's a forager's hut. There's burgage plots. Oh man. Where did I? Did I build a second apiary? <laughs> It'd be really nice if there was like an easy way to uh, highlight certain buildings, but I don't think there is. So let's um, hmm. Let's hope for the best, I guess. So this is this is an apiary. I don't. Oh man, I don't know if I did get a second one. That's that's really unfortunate. <laughs> I was really. Oh, can I like look at all my people? Uh, total population. Oh, oh, that's terrible. Okay, well at least we got some honey now, so that's nice. Work area empty. Yeah, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Oh, there it is. It's right next to the farmhouse. We've got someone working in here as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So we do now have another source of food. I'm assuming that'll keep everybody nice and happy. So again, it is just going to be a case of getting the tavern supply in here. We've also upgraded the church, which I think looks amazing. I, I really, I think that's a really good little, little look right there. We also got a new food stall. This little, I love this market. There's two free locations left. It's a great looking little market. I'm really excited to see, um, to see this one up here start to fill in as well. I think that's going to be great. That's, oh, it's so good. It's so good. We got that extra food supply as well. So that's hopefully going to keep us going. Food is dwindling though, which does have me really, really concerned. I don't know if these two fields are going to be enough. That's, that's a bit of a worry. But the problem is that to level up my town, I would maybe get the heavy plow so that we can employ oxen at the farmhouse for significantly faster plowing of large fields, as well as bringing crops back more efficiently. I feel like that would be a good idea, and I feel like that would be a good way to make another field that's basically the size of these two combined. In fact, I almost wonder, should we just try that? So rye fertility is kind of great back here. So if I was to do, I might regret this, but if I was to do something like, something like that, it's 2.7 Morgan, I'm going to give it a shot. And we're going to see if that, uh, we're going to see if that ends up being too much. It really might be, but at the very least, the goal is going to be to, well, hopefully get the windmill fully, I guess we'll fully staff the windmill and hopefully just start making an absolute ton of bread. I think, I think that's what we're aiming for. Really? We've got 93 bread, 85 berries. We're sort of getting a little bit of honey here and there. We've got a few vegetables. We could do with some eggs as well. We do have some money, actually. So if we went to... If we went to some of the more basic houses around here, like these guys over here. If I go to you, we could get some eggs. And I think I'm going to say that these three houses... We could do an apple orchard as well for 50. I think these three, though, I'm going to do... I'm going to do chickens. I also didn't want to upgrade this. That was a mistake, but I guess, I guess that's fair enough. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> we're upgrading this guy. This guy's getting a fancy house, which in fairness, now that I think about it, we, we do get gold from the burgage plots, right? So maybe, wait, requirements not met. Do I not have enough timber? I do have timber. Oh, you don't have fuel. How do you not have fuel? You absolutely should. None of you guys do. Oh, you do. All right, we'll upgrade you. We'll upgrade you. And that's a weaver's workshop, so we're not going to upgrade you. And then I can't upgrade you because, again, you don't have fuel. Do we just not have enough? Or is it a case that they're too far away from the market? It might be both. I'm going to assume it's the market, though. I would have to assume it's the market. 
What are you complaining about? Requirements not met. The burgage plot causes a loss of approval. Check the building panel for details. It doesn't really tell me anything. I think it might just be, it might be that fuel thing that we're seeing. That might be the, uh, that might be the problem that we're having, I guess. But again, I think we'll just hope for the best. I think that's kind of where we're at. I think we just, we just hope for the best with all of this. I'm also thinking it might be a really good idea to let's, let's not spend too much on sheep. Let's bring that number down to eight. So we'll buy one more. That'll be eight sheep in there. That'll be great. And that should be enough yarn to keep us going. And if we look at the tailor, it was yarn and dye. So I could get a dyer's workshop going. It would definitely be an option. It would mean that we can start making those capes. Uh, granary, I don't want to take anyone out of there. Where can I take people out of? I don't want to take anyone out of the trading thing. I don't want to take anyone out of the clay furnace. Although, do we even have any clay sitting around? Commodities, crops, fuel, food, construction. Uh, what am I looking for? Commodities? No. Crafting materials. Do we have clay? We have 19 clay sitting around. So I guess we can sort of let these guys keep working on that until they're done. I think that's what we do. I think we'll let this uh, let this guy keep working until we're out of the clay. And then from there, we can go ahead and move them into, I guess, the dyer's workshop. That seems, I just bit my tongue, it really hurt. That seems like, uh, <laughs> that seems like a great way to go. We also need someone at the malt house once we start to get some barley. It's still 137 days until that happens though. So, you know what? Is there anyone anywhere? that I can uh, I can recruit to help me out here. I don't, I don't think there is. I guess the sheep farm, we'll take someone out of there and we'll go and put them into the dyer's workshop. And then hopefully that means the dyer's workshop is gonna be up and going. It means the tailor is gonna be up and going, which will be again, another supply of clothes. It'll be cloaks this time. And that means that we have both shoes and cloaks, which I would imagine people are gonna want for the next tier of house. And then again, it is just kind of a question of waiting for, uh, well, waiting for the barley, waiting for the malt house. Let me have another little look here. Crafting materials, we're down to seven clay. We're actually starting to get dyes. We have six of them, which is great news. And that number going down makes me think that we are gonna be starting to make cloaks a little bit sooner than later we have 93 shoes which is ridiculous that's that's a lot that is that is an unreasonable number of shoes i'll tell you what let's just take you out of there for now we'll just take you out we're gonna put you into i'm gonna put you in the malt house we're just gonna we're just gonna throw you in there and you can just chill for another 110 days Oh, I also totally forgot to set this field to actually have some crops. So we're unlikely to get a full harvest this year. But we do have everybody out here sowing the field pretty... Well, actually, what are they doing right now? They are... They're not sowing it. They're doing something to it. They're probably plowing it, tilling the soil. I don't know. They're, they're doing something. They're working on it, and they're doing a really good job. It's going nice and quickly, so... I'm not really too worried about what they're doing. I think it'll be all right. And I think we're also going to... Can I do chickens back here? Yeah. Blue chickens behind these burgage plots. Just even though they've leveled up a little bit. I'm going to do get these guys leveled up as well. And they can keep their chickens. And then do we have a supply of eggs now? No. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe that was just wishful thinking. That's fine. I'm not really too worried about it. We'll get some eggs eventually. Once September comes around, hopefully we're going to have an absolute ton of... Uh, bread as well especially with this giant field of rye and then this one here well we're gonna it's it's gonna lay fallow this year which is completely fine that's that's also also completely fine this one is 71 days away we'd get a yield of 20 right now and how many do we need how many level three houses do we need we need three of them three burgage plot level threes to level up our town once again and again i'm thinking i'm kind of thinking heavy plow 
I think it'd be really useful to go for the heavy plow. Irrigation would be good, but we've not had a drought yet. We might. We definitely, definitely might. Advanced beekeeping would allow us to collect wax. I would assume that's tradable. Although trapping as well, the passive income of meat would be fantastic. That, that would be really good. And then double the, oh, double the amount of meat as well. Man, we could do some good with that. We could definitely, definitely do some good with that. Basic armoring is going to allow us to produce helmets after unlocking advanced armor making and master armor making that enables the production of mail armor and plate armor. So I would assume that is, yeah, advanced and then master. Charcoal burning converts firewood into two charcoal, making refueling twice as efficient. Okay, deep mining enables the building to extract resources indefinitely if placed on a rich deposit. That's huge. Oh, that is huge. That'd be a really good one. Trade logistics caps the trade route prices, leads into better deals, which removes the tariff from foreign imports, effectively reducing all import prices by 10. That's also huge. Good lord. That's, um... Huh. Hold on a minute. Food cart. A permanent market stall which provides a passive income of bread as long as the region has enough regional wealth. So is it just a permanent food stall... So it's just a permanent food stall, basically. And then we just we just pay for bread. I don't know if I want that. I don't know what I want, honestly. Bakery extension. Produce bread from flour with twice the efficiency. Okay. Man, there's... <laughs> there's... I don't know what I want anymore. I'm not gonna lie. I, I really don't know what I want now. There's a lot of really good upgrades in there. I'm kind of leaning towards specializing in farming for this space, though. The only problem is the land really isn't fertile for anything but rye. But then again, I mean, bread, you know, we can just we can just do bread, just a whole lot of bread, really. So maybe that's what we do. We just fill in this space with a bunch of farms for a bunch of fields for rye and we just make a whole ton of bread. Which is what we've been doing for the most part. We're getting quite low on the bread, though, which is a bit of a worry. Although it is July, so we're getting pretty close to harvest as well. Uh, you... Oh, the growth on this is going to be rough. 57 days, 56 days. Eh. We'll hope for the best on that. You're looking at 54 days. Okay. I don't think we want to increase the population any further. We're 144 people. Which is fine. We've got living space for 48 families. And we're starting to get complaints about more of these, these burgage plots. The fuel stall supply. Okay, so that's starting to be a consistent problem. Why are we seeing why are we seeing the fuel stalls be a problem? We do have enough fuel. We have 16 months worth of fuel. Can I build can I manually build a fuel stall? No, I don't think I can. So that's a forager. That's fine. What are we? We're going to be looking for the woodcutter's lodge. So that's generic storage. That's people. I guess we maybe just want more. I guess just more workers at the woodcutter's lodges will be more stalls. I think. So there's three here. This family, each of these guys owns a stall. I think that's the way to go. So we might actually need to bring a few more burgage plots in here. Which I don't love. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was, I was kind of hoping we'd not be doing too many more burgage plots right now. But we'll do a small handful right about here. So we'll do something like... We'll do something like this. I don't like that layout though. It's a little, it's a little nasty looking, but we'll just, we'll just go for it. And then here, can I do something silly with this? Is it, is it going to let me, if I did like this kind of thing? No, it's not really going to let me. Uh, that could go down to there. I think what we'll do is just extend it this way though. Bring it down to, let's see if I can get this to line up nicely. That's pretty good. A little less though. That's pretty solid. We can go there. We can rotate it around. And you know, I think I'm okay with that. Let's build those as well. We are low on food, but I, we need the workers. 
I need two more workers for the woodcutter's lodge out there. So let me prioritize these two plots. We'll get a couple of people working out this way. And then the rest of them can go to work at the malt house. They can go to work at the sheep farm up this way. They can go to work anywhere. They're going to they're gonna work somewhere is what they're going to do. Do we have a lot of hunters? We can get another hunter. So yeah, we've got plenty of space for them to work. We can get more foragers as well. I'm definitely thinking that's the way to go. Uh, we've got the dyer's workshop doing its thing as well. Does that mean that the tailor is... Are you making things? You have shields, you have dyes, you maybe have yarn. Where is the, where's the weaver? Weaver is you. Are you doing anything? You're transporting. Okay. If we look into one of these categories, we don't have any cloaks, 137 shoes. Oh my God. That's a bit excessive. <laughs> That's a little bit excessive, man. I'm not going to lie. That is, that is a lot. That's a lot of shoes. We, <laughs> we don't need, we do not need that many shoes, but you know what? Fair enough. More power to you, I guess. More, <laughs> more power to, uh, you know what? Where's that? Where's that cobbler? Do we, <laughs> do we want to like maybe pause you for a while? I don't know if we do. Resources stolen by bandits. Where are they? So they're here now? Is that closer? It is a little bit. So the bandits are gradually, no wait, they're even further away. This was the other bandits. All right, well, fair enough. Is this, why is this territory flashing? It's not now. Oh, it's when you select it and then hover off of it. That's fine. So a thousand influence to claim it. I'm at influence 970. How do I get more influence again? Raise the settlement level, enact a policy, conquer bandit camps, upgrade your churches, upgrade manors. Ah. Oh. So if I was to build another church and upgrade it, I would get influence, is what that's telling me. And then I could use a thousand influence to take that territory. That feels... That feels like it shouldn't work. I'm not going to test it because it'd be a waste of resources, potentially. But it does feel like that shouldn't work. It's just the temptation to try it is really, really high right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's... There's a really solid temptation to uh, to try and see if I can build a second church, increase its level, and then be like, boom, you know, I'm, I'm taking over a territory. We'll just hold off. We're going to play it safe. My approval rating is still 100%. Public order is suffering because of a lack of administrative buildings. And if I want to get an administrative manor, I need to be a small village. So, yeah. What are we right now? We're a... Wait, we're a large village? Wait, what? Am I? Hold on. Am I, have I been? Have I been an idiot? Requires seven level small village. Can I just? I think I can just build this. Oh. All right. Well. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough. Um. Yeah. Let's build my manor. I guess. I. <laughs> I don't know where to build it. Let me. Uh, let me just bring. Bring a road straight down here. We'll do a nice big straight line. I'm going to build my manor on this. Actually, is there like a hill or something? No, we're going to build it out here. We're absolutely going to build it out here. So a nice big straight road right there. Let me go and get my administrative manor right about there. Welcome to the castle planner. <laughs> oh, no. This is a work in progress feature. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is also fixed. Okay. So add point, remove point, adjust curvature. What am I doing? Wait. Oh. Okay, so I can rotate the building. So I can I can place little roads and stuff as well. I can build walls and, and gates. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Can I... I can get some really good curvature on that. So that's really cool. Okay. What else have we got? We've got outer towers. We've got garrison towers. We've got tax offices. Cosmetic only under rework. That's a shame. But you know what? I respect it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of here for that, man. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Can I build a... Can I get like this to follow the 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 circle that we have going on here i'm gonna doubt it 
I, I kind of, oh man, that curvature is, it doesn't, it also doesn't show me the, uh, oh, it doesn't show me the, the curvature line here. So I have to kind of just improvise with this. Oh, it's going to be rough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I really want to, I really want to follow this circle around. So I'm going to try and we're going to see what we can do. It's also, it's also really, really expensive. It's a lot of planks to do what I'm trying to do right now, but that's okay. We'll just sort of bring this whole thing around. And if I connect it all together, so if I do that, can I, oh, there we go. So that is, that's sort of, that's, that's sort of circular looking. The only part that isn't is like this gate and that one as well. But you know what? I'm kind of okay with that. I think I'm I'm kind of willing to allow that, to be completely honest with you. An outer tower. Is that is that something I can just like place anywhere? Outer tower. Oh yeah, I can just place it on the just place it on the on the thing. Okay, yeah, do a tower. Wait, I can use that to ex <gasps> Wait. I can just I can just use that to extend my influence. Oh my god. How do I delete something? <laughs> Left alt click. Okay. Um, oh, that changes so much. <laughs> that changes so much. I think for now, I'm going to keep the little circle. Uh, garrison tower. Increase the maximum retinue size by 12, limited to one per region. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that basically means that I can increase the size of my, like the garrison here is, is kind of what that's getting at. You know what? Let me, uh, let me rebuild this. Just very quickly, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of totally rebuild this because I I want to make it look better than what I'm doing right now. Oh, so I was I was gonna go for this, and it kind of looks like uh, looks like I can't afford it. I don't have <laughs> don't have enough planks, so I got slightly carried away. Is is what I did? A little bit unfortunately. That's uh that's a shame. I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel the manor construction and <laughs> we're gonna we'll just do that again. So we've got. We've got 50. We've got 50 planks right now. Uh, walls are expensive, man. Walls are really expensive. Here's what we'll do. Let's just try something like this. Let's just, let's just see if I can get away. I don't know. I, I don't know. Let's, let's do something like that. That's not too expensive. That's pretty good. So we'll build that. And then on this side, we'll do sort of the same thing. We'll come down kind of like this and that's it's a little bit expensive but i'm wondering so that's that's eight this is eight as well we can't afford it we're over by two maybe we just don't do walls maybe we don't need them for now maybe we do i don't really need towers a garrison tower i don't know if we need a tax office i don't even think it works so maybe I mean, I could place this like in my other building here, I guess, and we could we could have some fun with that. That's a whole thing, right? Just have it sort of sticking out the side of the building. I guess we'll just build, we'll just build you is what we'll do. We'll just build this and make it a priority and that'll be fine, I guess. I guess, I guess that's what we're doing is we're just gonna build this guy. Oh, now look at this. These guys seem to have done a really good job bringing in all of that rye. And then over here, we got nothing right now, but that's that's not bad. I do, I, I think the plowing station is gonna be the way to go. I, I'm kind of thinking on it a little bit more, and I think it makes sense if we are gonna be focusing on farming that we do the plowing station. The malt house, I mean, we did, we did have barley here. <laughs> Are we, do we have malt? Do we have a brewery? Are we doing, oh, we do, we have ale. Does that mean, no, there's nothing there. Is the tavern even working? No, it isn't. Let's get someone working in the tavern. And you know, let's also get another person working in this woodcutter's lodge, just to make sure that everything's all right. I don't imagine the tavern is going to supply everybody via a market stall. But I am hoping that we're going to see at least one or two of these guys end up with, uh, there we go, tavern supply. We don't have the requirements though, apparently. 
I find that hard to believe. Wait, do we need, wait, do we need these? We need helmets and gam, what? No. There's no way we need those. Do I not have to? I need, I need this, so I'm gonna need to buy them? So trading post, trade, military, helmets are kind of expensive, man. <laughs> they're, they're a little bit expensive. Tim and Gambesons are also kind of expensive. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so that means we need a trade route. Let me establish that trade route. Let me import. Let me get, uh, I'm going to say six of those is what we're going to go for. Very, very expensive, but they are required. We need them. They're they're part of this requirement down here to uh, to level this guy up, I think. At least that's what I'm assuming it's it's telling me. The tavern supply, it was there. It was definitely, definitely there. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, these are highlighted red. I have to imagine that's what it means. Oh, that's rough. That's that's really rough. I don't I don't like that, but it's OK. We've also got this new market coming together here, which is great. So that'll keep people happy. Let's get another worker down to this woodcutters thing just to make sure everything's all right. And then no barley for a year. So we're probably going to have to start importing alcohol as well. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be a rough time, but I'll tell you what. I think we've made pretty good progress. We are getting a little bit low on food, which has me really, really worried. But we do have a good amount of rye. We've got a really good amount of flour. And I'm fairly confident we can turn that into a good amount of... Uh, a good amount of bread is, is what I'm hoping for. We might need more uh, tools to hold things around. We are absolutely going to need to get another worker into that communal oven just to make sure that we can actually make all of that bread. So we actually did just get the family. So we'll go ahead and just max this out just to make sure that everything's okay. And then, uh, yeah, that food situation is kind of dire. It's uh, we're, <laughs> we're in a really, really bad spot with that food situation. So we might need to uh, might need to prioritize something different. What are we doing this year? So it's are we sowing this again? It looks like we are. Okay, are they sewing it around the clock now? It definitely seems like that's what they're doing. Anyway, that's something I can worry about in the next episode. The the lack of food. You know, that's that's <laughs> that's uh something I should probably worry about now, but we'll worry about it in the next one. For now, we're gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.